guys, here are my top 10 picks for pretty pole moves for beginners. I do recommend having some dry hands and something to clean the pole with regularly because you might be slipping and sliding off the pole like I am here. There are many moves in pole dancing which are actually holding you up mostly with the legs. Here's one of them. I love leg-based moves as it gives my poor blistered hands a much needed break. To get good leg contact with the pole, I like to lift my leg above hip height, then squeeze the pole behind my knee. This allows me to lift myself up nice and high into the move. You want to squeeze your leg firmly around the pole by bringing your foot towards your butt. You know your leg is gripping tight enough when you can use just one arm to hold yourself up. You can challenge yourself and enter this move with just one arm holding the pole. You'll need to squeeze even tighter with your leg. To land, I grab the pole with my outside hand again. This lets me slowly lower my legs down as gracefully and controlled as I can. Again, get that leg nice and high and squeeze to lift up. Your leg grip is all in the bottom leg. It will be squeezing the pole the whole time. Release your outside hand to test your leg grip. Give a nice over the head action with your arm for added pizzazz. I also like to have my bottom hand below chest height and pushing away. It just helps to keep my body in one position as I cross my leg over the other I like to enter this move by reaching out to the side with my outside hand, then bringing it over my head to grab the pole. It also gives me nice momentum to spin into the move. My forearm is contacting the pole and pushing away to keep my body in the same distance away from the pole. The same leg as my forearm contacts the pole behind the ankle. It really isn't doing anything for keeping your body up, it's more just for style. Stepping with your outside leg, kick your inside leg up. Use your arms to lift up at the same time. Really lean into the pole so this inside leg is pressing into it. Once you've done that, you can straighten the bent leg behind you. Your forearm will also be pushing into the pole to help keep you up. Straight after my outside hand grabs the pole, I bend my inside leg and kick out my outside leg to the side. I then push off this inside leg and immediately straighten my legs. I'm not really having to do much squeezing of my butt cheeks to keep my legs up. I find the spin of the pole helps to keep your legs up anyways. But if you are spinning a bit slower, you may need to squeeze your butt cheeks to keep your legs up. So I kind of stuffed up entering into this move here. Sorry guys, I was trying not to kick my dog. I tried to bend my inside leg before grabbing the pole, which made me look like I was falling. So don't do that unless you want to look like you are. You can see from this example that grabbing the pole with your outside arm before bending your inside leg will actually help stabilize you before you kick off. So this move is entered from a back hook which I'm guessing a lot of you have seen before. 
I won't bore you on instructions on how to do a back hook, but if you are interested, I will leave a link in the description box below explaining how to do a back hook in detail. Basically, to lift up your legs, you are pulling yourself up with your arms, but also you're leaning back and into the pole. This will in turn help hold you up. So the tip I'm going to tell you made this move a thousand times easier. I know this move looks really easy, but I actually slid down a lot trying to do this move. So the important tip here is to grab the pole low. Grab the pole at belly button height with your outside arm. If you don't, you might find you feel quite heavy holding yourself up in this move. Once you have gripped the pole, you can lift your outside leg slightly higher than your inside leg. To spin into this move, I crossed my inside leg over my outside leg. Then I began to move it towards the pole. I then pushed off with my outside leg and grabbed the pole with my outside hand. When I first started pole, I didn't look too graceful entering into moves. I think kicking your outside leg around with a straight leg is understated. I find it just makes the move look so much nicer. Grab your outside hand at belly button height and push away to really help hold you up and create a nice space between you and the pole. It is all about the legs for a stag move. You want to think about squeezing your butt cheek to lift up your leg behind you. It also helps to lean into the pole and push your inside thigh into the pole. If you are like me and you found learning the stag move a bit awkward, I'll leave a link in the description box below which goes into more detail about how I learnt how to do a stag position. Here's a surprise bonus move for you guys. This is how to do a front to back stag. You can enter into a front stag by grabbing the pole at below chest height and lifting your inside leg up and then pushing off with your outside leg. This outside leg will come up behind you almost straight away. To transition into a back stag, you want to turn into the pole, bringing your knees together. As your body begins to face the other way, think about bringing your inside leg up so it is touching the pole and at the same time bring the outside leg into a bent leg position behind you. It is confusing at first to figure out which leg to bring up and which leg to bring behind you, but I like to think about bringing my leg that is closest to the pole or the inside leg in front of me. Again, the outside leg will go up pretty much at the same time behind you. To hold this move, grab up as high as you can by going onto your tippy toes. The leg on the same side as your top arm will reach across your body and then swing behind you to spin into the move. As soon as you bring both feet off the ground, pull with your top arm and push with your bottom. I like to arch my back and lean my head back too for a nice look. Thanks for watching guys, I hope to see you in my next video.